What's up, guys? Welcome to Primetime Polton. I'm your host, comic book writer, Mark Polton, writer of books like Hawkman, Evangeline, Brigade, Graveyard Shift, uh, Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch, which is on Indiegogo right now. Please go check it out. We have books one and two available, variant covers by Dan Fraga and John Malin. But we're not here to uh, shill comics. Maybe maybe a little bit we're here to shill, uh, and we'll get into that uh, even more later. But today I'm doing an unboxing video. I have a package I've been looking forward to for quite a while. If you if you recognize that logo, you know we're talking Valor versus Action Force. Now, Action Force was the UK version of G.I. Joe back in the day. Uh, Hasbro, I guess, let the, the trademark uh, abandoned it. And uh, this new company, Valiverse, picked it up. Not only picked that up, picked up uh, the trademark for Steel Brigade. And they licensed Sergeant Slaughter uh, to a licensing deal to make comic books and action figures. So you suddenly piqued my interest. You have Action Force, Steel Brigade, Sergeant Slaughter. I'm in. Uh, I love G.I. Joe. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's no secret by by now that I love G.I. Joe. Uh, in fact, I have my own G.I. Joe inspired comic book uh, called U.S. Assassin. And uh, currently we have the mailing list up uh, for Indiegogo. The book's going to launch in the spring. It's U.S. Assassin Volume 3, Graveyard Shift, where they they uh, team up, well, not really team up, but they cross over with my other creation, Graveyard Shift, for a big brawl. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Go sign up, and right now I'm going to share the video promoting, not only promoting the book, but promoting the new addition to the U.S. Assassin team, professional wrestler, Ring of Honors, Flip Gordon, the mercenary. So check it out. I'm the mercenary, Flip Gordon. And I'm joining the U.S. Assassin's team. Yeah, this is U.S. Assassin. They bout the action, ready to make it happen. Yeah, this is the elite government task force. Whole team is official. What more could you ask for? Yeah, this is U.S. Assassin. You don't want drama. If they pull up, they blasting. Monsters of the graveyard shift. You ain't never seen a squad quite like this. We got bazooka dog, and he don't cut no slack. A dog with a giant bazooka on his back. Slipper is a reptilian, alien. Three snakes for a tongue. You don't want to mess with him sensei steel who is some mysterious martial artists and trainers with the case zero face is a bad guy turn good the mercenary is a beast get it understood takeout is a fast shooter fast draw curvy is the lone ranger but she hits hard lieutenant rake second in command yes indeed who's the brains of the team of super ninja at the lead yeah hey this is u.s assassin yeah this is u.s assassin let's go So there you have it, guys. Uh, U.S. Assassin, book three, Graveyard Shift. Uh, if that video's uh, any indication, uh, the book's going to be awesome. Tons of action. Great artwork by my co-creator uh, on the project, Mike McMahon. Uh, I mean, it's a dog with a bazooka on his back. <laughs> what more could you ask for? I want to give a shout out to the, the chat. We got best friend Sean, Sean Aaron, in the chat. What's up? What's in the box? Uh, we're going to find out right now. Good question. So here we go, Valiverse Action Force Comics. We're going to open them up and take a look inside. Now, it's, this isn't a Gemini mailer, but this is a book mailer, well packaged. I, I like that they add, added the Action Force uh, Valiverse logo uh, stamped on there. Nice touch. So the story with, with these comics, uh, they're a hot seller on the Valiverse website. Uh, they've they've sold out a couple times. So when they were back in stock, I made sure to buy all four issues. Uh, 
And here we go. All the comics come uh, bagged and board, uh, bagged and boarded. I'm gonna flip through uh, each issue. Share anything that uh, catches my eye with you guys. So uh, first off, uh, creator Bobby Valla uh, signed the books. In <laughs> I don't know if my my glasses are uh, are uh, you know changing the the color, but it looks like in like a, a yellow. Uh, paint pen, so awesome. Nice, uh, nice glossy, thick pages and cover stock. Got a little prologue in the front with uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, I loved. Uh, that G.I. Joe added Sergeant Slaughter to the team back in the day because I was a huge pro wrestling fan uh, when I was creating U.S. Assassin and we decided to go in a in a team format. I wanted to do that same thing and bring in like a real life person to be that sort of Sergeant Slaughter to my team. And that's where we added the mercenary Flip Gordon. Hey, we got Eddie Winkler in the chat. Thanks for joining us, Eddie. And yeah, uh, I'm doing great. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. So uh, first off, let's let's look at the credits for this, if I can find them. I cannot find the credits in here. Artwork looks great, though. Um, there appears to be like a bunch of like like propaganda like i don't know if this is like the the swarm i think that that's the enemy like the cobra-esque uh characters in this yeah you need the benevolent protection of this swarm so this is like propaganda for the villains in the book and then it switches to more like traditional comic book artwork looks great uh real nice colors but uh, just the production, like the thick paper, um, is great. And then in the back, it has some character bios, the swarm. Gives you like a breakdown of them. And it also looks like it gives you like a look at the action figures. Uh, they just, um, actually, they're still up for sale, the whole line of action force figures. I pre-ordered the Sergeant Slaughter and Steel Brigade uh, figures. Uh, who knows? After reading, uh, once I read these comics, I might... Uh, <laughs> I might want to pre-order some more figures, but they're supposed to ship in the summer. So if you're a, if you're a GI Joe collector and looking for something that's like along the lines of GI Joe, I, I suggest uh, checking out action force. I mean, just for the Sergeant Slaughter figure alone, that's pretty badass. A uh, great cover. Uh, another uh, Bobby Ball signed all the books, but this cover is awesome. I, I don't know who this guy is, but he's got a cool mask. All right, so here we actually have some credits that are easy to easy to spot. Uh, Bobby Valla and Justin Bell are the story. Justice uh, name does the line art. Uh, there's a couple different stories in here. So uh, other artists are MKV, Edson Alves. Cover is by Edwin Arosa. Nice uh, ad for the Action Force line of action figures. And they're in scale with the G.I. Joe uh, classified series that's currently out. Another uh, prologue with the making it look like it's a file folder. If I'm not mistaken, I thought uh, Robert Atkins did some artwork for, uh, for the C series. Maybe just some covers. I'm not sure. But Robert Atkins was an artist on G.I. Joe Real American Hero. Uh, during the IDW days, uh, big fan of his artwork. More character bios in the back. We got Condor, Trigger, the Bone Collector. So this is the guy on the cover who looks badass. He's the Bone Collector. I dig it. Uh, you know, he might be a he might be a figure I I might have to pre-order. Very cool. Uh, we'll keep flipping through these.
here we go. Uh, issue three, Steel Brigade. Uh, really cool. That's you know, besides uh, Sergeant Slaughter, that that's the other nice touch of uh, Action Force that they got the rights to Steel Brigade. Actually, a little jealous. <laughs> I'd like to have Steel Brigade in uh in a U.S. Assassin. I mean, we got Sensei Steel after after all. All right, yeah, so uh, here we go. This cover is by Robert Atkins. Uh, there's also a uh, variant cover by Bobby Bala, who is the creator of and owner of Balaverse and the creator of Action Force. So very cool. I don't know. What do you guys think? U.S. Assassin uh, Action Force uh, team up? That would be pretty uh, awesome. Yeah, the artwork inside is really nice. Great colors. You know, the, the G.I. Joe series, um, which is, th that's the book that got me into comics. Um, it hasn't been all that great lately. So uh, I'm glad, like, someone else, you know, besides myself, has picked up the mantle and uh, tried to give, uh, like, cool military superhero type comics. Nice splash page. Holy cow, we got Dexter Weeks in the chat. What's up, Dex? <laughs> I never expected to see Dexter Weeks in a chat. Uh, Dex is a longtime, well, longtime friend, one of my best friends, longtime collaborator on comic books. Uh, we worked together on Coney Waves, um, a cat named Haiku, uh, Evangeline, uh, the upcoming Gun Goth. He's coloring Viking Wolf uh, right now. Uh, speaking of Viking Wolf, um, if you've been following the Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch uh, campaign on Indiegogo, we just announced our twenty-three thousand dollars stretch goal. If we hit that, all backers get a Viking Wolf uh, Ash Can, which will be his first appearance. Um, and then Viking Wolf is going to uh, launch in uh, in the spring. Uh, it's a fantastic looking book, man. Definitely, definitely want to uh, check it out. Yeah, Dex is working on Viking Wolf. Yeah, get to work, man. Stop hanging out in the chats. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I appreciate you hanging out, man. Yeah, I think that's uh, the first time we mentioned it, that Dex is the colorist of Viking Wolf. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> Sean's excited for you, Dex. All right, so the back, we got uh, Steel Brigade character bios. Look at the action figure. I'm, you know, I'm really excited. This is actually making me itchy. I wanna, I wanna almost go back and, and pick up my old some of the, the old uh, Joe figures that I had that I sold to. I, I, I sold my comics and my uh, my GI Joe collection to to pay for my honeymoon back in the day. I don't regret it. I mean, the comic books, uh, anything that comes out in a Nice collection, hardcover collection. I end up picking up anyway. Uh, the action figures, I wouldn't mind going back and picking up a, at least like a, the original Sergeant Slaughter and the original Steel Brigade uh, figure. And now here's issue four. This is the one I'm really looking most forward to. Of course, it's the man, Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, he follows me on Twitter because he knows what's up. This looks awesome. Is this another Robert Atkins cover? Yep, absolutely, Robert Atkins. This story is called Back in the Saddle, so I assume this is Sergeant Slaughter's first appearance in the Action Force line. Great artwork. Yeah, I can't wait to, to read these. <laughs> I got a bit of a pile of books I need to read. I'll get to it, trust me. But this, this definitely goes top of the pile. They got a cool, uh, <laughs> some cool looking, uh, like sh air sh airships. I don't know if they're part of the swarm. I'm gonna have to read more about this. Fantastic looking book. Here's Sarge with the team. Yeah, this looks like a great action-packed issue. I'm looking forward to it. 
Uh, and then we get the character profile of Sergeant Slaughter. A look at his action figure, which is going to be absolutely amazing. And then the back is an ad for uh, the Valiverse website. All the cool stuff you can get there, for, like shirts, pins, prints, and, of course, the comic books. And that is uh, Valiverse.com. So make sure you check it out. And that's it for uh, the unboxing video. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to reading these. Um, I, I've been on a real uh, G.I. Joe kick lately, I guess, um, just because of doing my U.S. Assassin uh, series. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it's it's the book. G.I. Joe is the book that got, got me into uh, reading comic books and, you know, eventually making comic books. And now I get to sort of make my own G.I. Joe uh, series and I like other other comics that are inspired as well by the GI Joe series action force I mean, that's a name that was a name that was GI Joe. It was the UK version of GI Joe So to see someone uh, pick up the mantle uh, That's that's pretty awesome and not only that but they got sergeant slaughter and steel brigade. It's awesome Anyway guys, oh we got uh we Got Zade comics in the chat. What's up uh, Phil? Sergeant Slaughter follows Mark. No big deal, Mark. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I, believe me, when he followed me, I reached out to him and, and tried to see if we could work uh, work out a little Sergeant Slaughter uh, U.S. Assassin peer, appearance. But that's before I knew he was involved in Action Force. So, uh, you know, that that's awesome on, on Sarge's uh, uh, hand. He he's in good hands with uh, Action Force. The all the Valiver stuff looks amazing. Uh, yeah, another we're breaking news here tonight. Uh, Sean Aaron, shameless self promotion. Mark is the editor on my book, Type One. Uh, true, true. I've a, I was actually reading the script uh, today. Uh, Good to send Sean some notes so he can get to work and make it the best book possible. Uh, we're closing in, uh, closing on close to twenty minutes. Unless the chat has anything, I'm going to just go into pitch mode real quick. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pull up the Sea Dog, uh, sea dog campaign real quick. Well, let me pull down Sean's. Uh... There we go. Let me pull down Sean's comment. Dex says anything Mark works on turns to gold. Thank you, my man. See, it says nice. That's awesome news. Yeah, I, I hope I, <laughs> I hope when Sean gets back my notes, he's not uh, he's not angry with me. But uh, we're gonna make this book the best book possible for Sean. It's his first book. I know he's been working on it a long time, and it's a personal story for him. Um, speaking of personal stories, uh, Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch. Uh, sea Dog's a character I created with my son. Uh, we just hit the fifteen thousand uh, dollar stretch goal. We unlocked the uh, Rebel and Neon mini print for all backers. Uh, next up is the twenty three thousand dollar stretch goal, and if we hit that, all the backers are going to get this awesome Viking Wolf preview ash can. Uh, we just announced Dexter Weeks, the colorist of Viking Wolf. This preview ash can preview is going to be black and white, so you won't see his work just yet. But I'm sure I'll be. Uh, promoting it and previewing it on Twitter and other uh, forms of social media. But if you're a fan of 90s comics, cool superhero books, colorful, bright characters, uh, look no further than Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch. Uh, sea Dog is my creation, like I said, with my son Chase. Codename Kill Switch are artists, uh, Clint Holinsky, they're his characters. Uh, Clint had hit me up. Uh, after he saw the success of Graveyard Shift and was like, hey, uh, would you be interested in working together? So I, I told him about Sea Dog, and he was like, yeah, uh, that's cool. Can we throw in my characters? And really, it just turned into like a Marvel team-up type book with our, both our characters teaming up. This is book two, picks up right after book one. We have Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch, hot on the trail of our villain, Shikari. He has kidnapped Sea Dog's uh, master, Peter, because Sea Dog actually is a real dog. He's a puppy. 
uh, that Peter, his master, found uh, this enchanted medallion, put it around his neck because he thought it would be a cool uh, collar, and bam, he turns into Sea Dog, um, this uh, narcissistic <laughs> canine superhero who loves being this uh, canine humanoid so much he never wants to turn back to the puppy, so he creates this uh, secret identity where he's Sea Dog, spelled C D A W G, the rapper. Um, and, uh, you know, there's two, these, two of these dog, uh, humanoid creatures and no one, no one's the wiser. They can't figure out that they're the same person. And, and why would they, they spell their names dis differently. Right. And one dresses, dresses up like a rapper with a gold chain and one dresses in superhero tights. Uh, anyway, we got variant covers by Dan Fraga. Uh, Dan was recently in the hospital, so get well, Dan. Uh, looking forward to seeing your finished cover. This is the layout right now, but it's going to be Sea Dog and his rap persona with a, a can of spray paint, and he's spray painting a mural of Codeine Kill Switch on the wall behind him. And then we have a uh, book one reprint uh, featuring just the black and white line art by John Malin. Uh, it's going to be a virgin cover, no logo. John's artwork is truly fantastic, and we just want to uh, showcase it in it, in its uh, most detailed uh, form. Look at that sea dog. It's just so badass. And then some here's some of the uh, interior pages. Artwork by Clint Holinsky with colors by Dan, uh, Andrew Dollhouse. Fantastic work. You know, this is page one. It shows where all the characters are uh, when the story uh, picks up. And, the, you know, Andrew's such a great colorist. He gave, like, each character their own, like, color scheme. So you know they're in different locations. Cool team shot with Neon, Stormborn, and Tundra. Fan favorite character, Crotch Rocket. About to face off with a new villain, Red Raven. And then here's some of the black and white line art that Andrew hasn't colored yet. Stormborn is on his home world of Thoroon. He's about to battle his brother, Dragonborn. If you can see back there, that's uh, Dragonborn. Uh, Dragonborn just took the throne of Thoroon by force. Uh, so the, the, the planet is in uh, the middle of unrest. So lots of action, lots of world building, new characters. We introduce a whole new superhero team called the Animalers, which give a, more into the backstory of uh, Sea Dog's superpowers. And, uh, you know, before I, I sign off, uh, definitely want to showcase the Babe box. Got right here. I'm going to pull myself a uh, big screen, full screen Babe box. It has Clint Holinsky's artwork on the front, the Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch logo on the, on the spine. Has a magnetic closing. You open it up and bam, it'll have five books inside, all three covers to book one, both covers to book two, uh, a sketch from Clint, a sketch from me, uh, trading cards, ash can, mini prints, and a Sea Dog pop socket for your cell phone. So at $200, it's definitely the best value and it gives you everything Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch that Clint and I have created so far. And that should do it. Uh, for tonight, make sure there's no more, uh, comments. I borrow ideas. Hey, to the, hey, to the moral compass. Hey man, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm about to sign off. Um, you guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Coney waves. Make sure you subscribe to primetime Polton, uh, go sign up for the mailing list of us assassin three. The link is in the description. And uh, I will see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.